So what's the best large language model in 2025? Well, each one has unique strengths that make it great for specific tasks. I've used all the most popular LLMs and have done research on when people often use which model. So in this video, I'll tell you about the strengths of five of the most powerful AI models available right now. We'll discuss OpenAI's O1, Anthropic's Claude 3.7 Sonnet, Google's Gemini 2.0, XAI's Grok, and DeepSeek's R1. I'll show you an example of using each one for what I think is the best use case. So let's test and compare these models. Testing them will actually be pretty easy with this video sponsors, Chat LLM. Basically for one price, $10 a month, you can get access to all the models. So here's a lot of the top models, but there's quite a few of them that they have, way more than we'll be showing off in this video. But let's start off with the OpenAI's O1 model. So I can just select the model from the drop down here. So O1 is known for being really good at problem solving. So let's test it with a logic puzzle. A princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of their present age. What is the age of prince and princess? Provide all solutions to this question. So it's pretty complicated even just to read but let's just allow this to think for a little while and then we'll come back when it has the answer. Okay, we can see it doing an analysis, creating some math problems to figure it out. We keep going down and this is correct. It says provide all possible solutions. So the princess's age is going to be eight times N and the prince's age is six times N or the smallest integer solution is eight or six. So this is correct for this problem. Now let's try the exact same question with one of the other models. So let's see if Gemini 2.0 Pro can solve the problem. So let's scroll down and this is not correct. So we did verify that O1 is better at solving reasoning challenges. So I'm gonna do a new chat with Claude 3.7. Claude 3.7 is known for being really good at coding. So let's test the coding cap capabilities, which is where it really excels. So I'm just going to ask if to create a Python web scraper using beautiful soup and requests, and it tells everything it's supposed to do. The code should be production ready and follow best practices. So we can scroll down and see the code here and it looks pretty good. Now in this case, I'm not gonna go ahead and test this, but a lot of software developers say that they prefer Claude Sonnet 3.7 when developing code, especially when using AI powered IDEs, such as Cursor, or there's another IDE I wanna tell you about while we're talking about Claude Sonnet 3.7. And I'm gonna open up the sidebar here and I'm gonna click Code LLM. Now this is an AI code assistant and editor, kind of like Cursor, but it's included in your Chat LLM subscription. So we can just download it. So we got Code LLM opened and it's just like Visual Studio Code. I'm already logged in to Chat LLM through this IDE and now it has all these AI capabilities. So here we can chat with our code or we can go to agent mode where it can actually create files for you, edit for files for you. This is basically where we start vibe coding. So I'm going to change this to the Sonnet 3.7. Use 3JS to create a game where the player has to control a rocket from one planet to another while avoiding asteroids. So let's just let it do all the coding for us and it can check the files that we already have, which is actually none right now, and then it will write all the code for our project. So I just skipped ahead till the time where it was done creating all the files. You can see it created directories and files. I'll just click accept here. And now let's try out our game. So I'll just open with live server. Okay, let's try this. Okay, I'm controlling this around. And for some reason, when I press up, it just goes in circles. Well, that's easy enough to fix. When I press up, it just goes in circles. 
Okay, now I just hit accept and let's try this out. Okay, this seems to be working. It's just still kind of interesting since I'm in 3D space. But yeah, the thrusting is working. So I could keep going back and forth and keep vibe coding this entire game. Okay, now let's look at Gemini 2.0 Pro right in the drop down menu here. And one thing Gemini 2.0 is known for is its image editing capabilities. And it can, it's also pretty good at creative writing. So if you want to use the image editing capabilities in chat LM, we can go to image here. And then we're going to, in this drop down, we're going to go to Gemini native. Now I'm just going to upload an image here. And just so you know, the image looks like this right here. And my prompt is add a hat to the person. So generate. Okay, I guess I also added some hair right there. Nice. I look pretty nice in that image. Now let's do new chat, and I'm going to go to Grok. Now Grok is known for handling real-time information really well. Now a lot of them can actually browse the web, so they can get real-time information. But let's try a prompt. What are the latest developments in quantum computing as of March 2025? And then some other information here. And now we're getting some information about these recent breakthroughs in quantum computing. Grok is also known for having, I guess you could say, funner responses. Now let's talk about DeepSeek R1. I've selected it from here. And DeepSeek R1 is good at a lot of different things. And where people really seem to like it is writing. People say it's free, less censored, has more personality, and easy, easier to steer compared to some of the other models. So we can just do a creative writing prompt. Write a short story about a character who finds a mysterious key, and so on here. And we can do a writing prompt. And one thing about DeepSeek R1 is that you can see its thoughts. So that's kind of cool to be able to see what it's thinking. So these are all the thoughts that it's thinking before it starts doing the task. And then it writes the writing prompt. Le Leela found the key on a rain-soaked Tuesday tucked between the pages of a waterlogged copy of Moby Dick at the bottom of a flea market bin. It was silver, tarnished to a smoky gray. And then it continues with this story here. And w we could try the writing prompt with the different models and see what we like best. But a lot of people say DeepSeek R1 comes up with some good good writing. So for the last few months, I've actually been using Chat LM uh, basically multiple times a day, and I love that I can access really any model I want for just one price. And then it also has some other helpers like image generation, uh, code generation. Uh, the code playground, we can do a PowerPoint generation. So you just tell what type of PowerPoint you want to create and it'll create a PowerPoint. Uh, deep research, if you want to research a topic by going to different websites and stuff. And I already showed you this uh, drop down model. Uh, you can actually generate videos. Uh, you get different models that you want to generate videos from. And I've tried this, it's pretty good. And you can basically start your own team and then you can invite as many people to the team for $10 a month. So the best LLM depends on your needs. Different people tend to like different models. But here's a quick recap of what I found. For complex reasoning and problem solving, OpenAI 01. For coding and technical documentation, Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. For multimodal content and image editing, Gemini 2.0. For technical tasks with current information, Grok 3. For cost efficient solutions and writing, DeepSeek R1. Let me know in the comments what your favorite LLM is.